all that you have given to us, we thank you. We love you dearly. There's not a day that we don't wish that you are never far away from us. I had to run and come all this way here too, please, thank you. Anyway, thank you so much, G, for all that you do for us. We love you. We wish you everything you wish for yourself and more. What, what, I'm the favorite sister. Yeah, I'll take it and leave it right here. One thing about this young lady, if I was a girl, this is what I would look like. <laughs> and if she was a man, I would be what she looks like. This is royalty from Guyana. This is someone I've known for 20 plus years of my life. And Sri Krishna Mandir that you see in Guyana, this was my, my backbone. This was my strength, aside from all of you. When it's time to get con uh, workers and contractors and painters and plumbers and you name it, and not just that, to go and shop. This was my driver. This was a lady I fought with and we would fight in the morning or we'll make up by the evening. And in between we would ask, did we eat today? We would have forgotten to even eat anything for the Aside day. from all my lovely sisters who are here, this is one of your sisters also. And I want, I want all of you to get to know her. And you will fall in love with her just as much as I love her. To my mom, Mary Dory, I just love you. She's one of the sweetest personality you could ever come across. And always there, not just to give compliments, to give advice, and so many other things. And they just came from Guyana on Saturday uh, just to be here for this event. So thank you, Mrs. Prasad. And all this Louis Vuitton shoes and all these things, she pays the bill, by the way. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, Love, 
the connection that you have that you have linked us to from one soul to the super soul and we cannot thank you enough Bridget. thanks i know one thing we bond over very very well is uh, very old school bollywood we love black and white films from the 1940s 1950s 60s and so on i also love this so i'm going to do a little medley of that for you to see this is for you Can I have some keyboard on the monitors, please? Banke patthar hum padhe Thhe suni suni rahame Banke patthar hum padhe Thank you. 
and for me, that individual was my guru. Then Ravi moved on to Hamitum Sipyari Kitanaki Hamdahi Jadati. Bari Mushkilusi says that we have to control our heart so much when others look at you because you don't know how much I love you. Now, when I listen to this, this song from a very old movie called Kudrat, I think Rajesh Khanna and Hema Malini, my favorite, takes me back to when I go to the temples in India and I would stand there for hours waiting to have a darshan of the Lord. And you see all these VIPs going. You see all these special people are being allowed to enter into the sanctum and they're giving special treatment. And I'm standing there and I'm thinking, am I lacking in some way, Krishna? Is there something lacking in me that I can't get this treatment also? And something just recently happened on my last trip to India. I walked into a Srinathji, a temple of Lord Krishna in Rajasthan, in Nathadwar. And you go into the sanctum and then you exit into another room. And the other room has a name. And that name was Ratan Chok. Name, the room is named Ratan. I think you all know who Ratan is, right? I felt so good that I said to myself, Krishna, my name is so close to you. I never knew that. So you see these little, little things, when you think we don't feel special, many people think I, I favor others over the others, whom are really special. Um, by the way, I know I'll be given a chance to speak, but I just can't help it, Ganesh. I feel so special today. I went to Kumariji's Facebook page, and I'm scrolling all the pictures, Whatever she's wishing somebody happy birthday, she at least posts, you know, eight, nine, ten pictures of that individual. Well, I got 35 today. Should have been 50. So we're waiting for her. She's going to post out 50 by midnight tonight. So sometimes people may think I favor others over others. And if there's something wrong with them that I'm not close to them or so, but it's never like that. It's never like that. I used to ask the Lord the same thing until he opened his doors for me and opened his arms. I said to you, if I was a girl, I would have been Natasha Dori Prasad, and if she was a man, she would have been me. But I am hoping this will be the next Raja Govind. <laughs> this will be the next Pandit Raja Govind. He is just waiting for the Tulsidas moment in his life. If you could understand what we're hinting at. When the broken heart syndrome comes, Tulsi Das took part. Ravi Mishra will become Pandit Ravi Mishra. One of the most talented young men in our community. He hasn't realized that yet, but he will soon. Thank you very much, Ravi. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are here to celebrate 50 wonderful years of birth. When you want to know what his vision is like, take a look at the pages, at the pictures of Sri Krishna Mandir. When you want to know what love is like for the Lord, look at the way he presents the sanctum for Navratri programs. When you want to know how much he cares for the Lord, take a look at all the pilgrimages he has taken over the years. Please put your hands together for Pandit Rajan Balgovin. I once said to him, I may or may not, like many of us, get the opportunity to visit all these temples, 108 temples. But when we get the opportunity, opportunity to look at his feet, touch them. Because those very feet had walked into 108 plus temples. Please give him another big round of applause. And when he goes and he recharges himself and he comes back, to this part of the world and the Caribbean and Guyana. He shares that energy with us. Don't you agree? Thank you very much. So for that, we're celebrating 50 wonderful years. Give him another big round of applause. Our next item will be a dance performance. And what would this program be like without the element of Shri Krishna? So we have a dance program 
and that item will be done by no other than Miss Davina Singh. Please give her a big round of applause. A student under the tutelage of Srimati Sata Paranji, and she'll be performing a tan, a unique piece of Kuchipudi repertoire where the dancer performs rhythmic sequences while dancing on the rim of a brass plate, simultaneously balancing a pot of water on their head. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. This, uh, this song happens to be uh, one of the trending songs they have out on uh, Netflix. I don't know. Everyone is watching Netflix, so I hope you like this song. Um, hope you enjoy it. Dance, you can dance with Panduji, you have to open the dance room, but we'll get him, don't worry. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Miss Gita Bishra. And all the dancers also, please give her a big round of applause. So she called me, I live in New Jersey, so she said, you gotta come, there's on Pandit there, you must you know I'm eating from Guyana, and she told me who he was. So I said, okay, I'm gonna come. And when I went that night, first truly, many, many years ago, Pandit had made an impact on my life. He has taken me to a different realm of life, a different way of devotion. He has so much love to give, and he has so much more love for his Bhagawan. And that was one thing I was seeking. To, 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 to have someone as my Guruji who have the same admiration of God. Who sees God with this, with this, with this only, only source of happiness. And I found that in you Guruji. And ever since I became your Chila, I love you dearly. And through these many years, and I must thank you especially from the time when I was about to fall. You were there to pick me, Guruji. From the bottom of my heart, for my family and all of our extended family, I wish you a blessed 50th birthday. May your Sri Krishna and may Maya bless you with abundance of life that you will be with us for many, many, many more inspirational and loving years. We love you. You're a friend. You're a buddy. And we love you from the bottom of my heart, Ji. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Ravi. Uh, honest mistake, uh, but I just need to correct people once in a while. Well, they voted me here tonight to make a little speech. It was either a speech or a song. But as we all know, that's the talented one in the family right there. And uh, if Gita Bisram is still around, maybe she can sing a song for us on, on our behalf for him. Because I can't sing, and no one on that team can sing either. Trust me, they can. But uh, I just want to say a welcome to Rajan's 50th. And I have to say, I've never seen anyone embrace 50 the way Rajan has from last year from India, visiting temples, to Guyana, the Padua celebrations, and then the party, and then from last night, the puja in Canada, and to this event tonight, my God, unbelievable. But I have to say, welcome to the 50 Club. It's a very prestigious club, and a few of your cousins can attest to that as well at the tables over there. <laughs> I have to say that uh, I'm not a good speaker, but I do know that your parents, my big mama and my big papa, our nani, our nana, our big mom, and our shunosia looking down on you, blessing you every day of their lives, showering you with all of their blessings, to, not just to us, and every day. You look so handsome. You're like, I don't know, you're, you're glittering tonight. It's not just a golden girl thing. You're the golden boy. With all the friends and all the family to wish you a happy birthday, I must say thank you to all of your friends, each and every one of you for putting together this event for him and letting his family be part of it. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We love Rajin and it really, really warms our heart to see how many friends he has, the extended family he has from India, from Canada, from Guyana. And like Ravi said before, every state in America Rajin has family. Not just in New York and New Jersey. And we love you very much. I wish you knew how to sing, because then I would sing Bada Bada Dai. But I really truly don't. Thank you. Um, now, generally people don't really see my close family, particularly this side of the family. Can you all come, please? All my cousins from mommy's side. Uh, can I first that means you 
giant crest. You can see alone by the way they dress. May his soul forever be blessed. He was the one in 1981 brought the entire family down Fort Avenue, Jersey City. Down Fort Avenue. I don't remember the house number. And I was just eight years old. Videsh was probably nine years old. Shana was 12. Um, Hindu was 11. Gang was five. That was the age we came with two sons, Giant Chris, and uh, 1981, however, he would have been two years old, and we grew up like brothers. Now when I got sick, I was in quarantine because I was uh, getting infections, so my door was locked, and Jai came to visit me at the hospital. So only family and immediate family were allowed to come and see me in the hospital. So he went up and says, I'm family. And everybody's staring at him. There's a brown skin fella, Mr. Balkovin in the room, and there is this, you know, non-brown skin guy trying to get into my room. And they're like, no, you can't go in. And he's like, no, no, that's my cousin. Right? And uh, I really wish, uh, you know, something Shen has said that, uh, let me be honest with you. This is not my style, I think you all have known this by now. But so many of you here, not really so many of you, all of you have been a part of something that brings me tremendous joy. All of you participate, attend, and contribute to things that brings me tremendous joy. Whether it's Navratri, whether it's the seva that we do in India, in Guyana, you know. I won't make, I, I've never made a list of the things that we have accomplished through the years. But I said to myself, you have done so much to make me happy. I can wear the suit to make you happy tonight. <laughs> right? And I'm going, I know I'm going, we're going to be on social media. We, people will be talking about this. Uh, Ravi said I made his hair fall off. I'm sorry, Ravi, about that anthem thing that you have to face a backlash for it. But, um, you know, I stand for dharma. Where is dharma? There is truth. Let's forget that. But you have supported me, my family have supported me. Shana said I give so much of love and I could only give that because my parents instilled a lot of that in us. And that came from our grandparents, my Nana and my Nani from Crabble Creek. And very humble, very humble, humble families. And when my sister said to me who was coming tonight, because I kept pestering her, you know, my friends in Canada say, the more questions you ask, the more you're forcing us to lie. So my friends in Canada say, don't ask questions, you're forcing us to lie. Because they're all hiding things from me. So I keep pestering Vedi, who's coming to this event? Is, are my cousins coming? Are my poor's coming? My Mosi's coming? And when she said that my cousins, they all confirmed in coming, I was the happiest. And again, I would have missed this uh, Shivi and Sabu. But this is my, this is just a, a little part of it, of my, of my mom's side of the family. Just a, a drop in the bucket, and I love you guys so much. And they live all the way down South Jersey, and they've made it to be here. So, thank you guys. Thank you. Okay, go back to your seat now. When someone of his stature can be. She gets upset if she's not told she's beautiful. My brother Rakesh, Nanda's brother, my other beautiful cousin Shalini. Navo Kavo, the monkey. Kavo, Kavo was, Kavo's a couple of years younger than me, right? Like three? No, no, seriously, how many years younger than me? Five years. So when Kavo was born, they lived directly behind our house at number 73 village, if anyone knows where I'm from. And I believe it was Kavo's nine day. And I wanted to take something for her. So I stole something from my mother's factory. I, I can't remember what I stole. You know, we had a factory at number 73 village. 
and if it was a night dress or a dress or something, I wrapped it up and I took it for, for Carver. So Carver doesn't know how special she is. I actually stole for her when she when, um, when I was actually five years old. We don't know that one, do we? Another thing is about this young lady. Eight years ago, I fell in our home. My sister didn't know what was happening to me. I was losing consciousness during the time of my, my treatment. And I fell quite a few times until I landed in front of our puja place. And I'm crying, my sister's crying even more because she doesn't know what is happening to me. And I said, just leave me here. Just give me some water to drink. I turned my face to the altar and I said, Krishna, manzoor hai. It means I comply, whatever it be. Ladies, my sister could not lift me up or put me back in the bed.
मोहे चुन चुन 